Excalibur, the story of the big sword in the big stone. A sword that only the rightful king of Britain could pull free. And there you stand before it. You know you want to try, but doubts begin to creep in your mind. Am I strong enough? Am I skilled enough? Writing. One of the most powerful forms of self-expression. It allows you to share your feelings, ideas and stories with other people. It can help clarify your thoughts, unlock your subconscious and even make you some serious dollar. Make it rain, make it rain. I've been a theatre arts lecturer and creative coach for over 20 years. Oh well done, you're so old and wise. And in my experience, new students found writing activities one of the most, if not the most difficult things to do. And the resistance came down to basically five key things, which we will refer to as the five big stones. Yeah, but I can't do it, cause like, it's vegetarian, and like moves in the middle of the thing, so. Well, we got no hands, see? I'm not doing it. I'm the king. Roses are red, violets are blue. I went to the toilet and did a big. Now, a big stone can get in your way, but if sculpted, it becomes a pillar for you to build upon, and a sword, or a pen, can be honed and sharpened on a shaped stone. And if you take that sh What, you think I'm going too far with the sword and the stone analogy? Well, I don't care. It's my video. Don't click off. So let's start with number one, the I don't know where to start zone. So first of all, we need to get a piece of paper and write. I don't know where to start on the piece of paper. Then I want you to start writing and noticing your thoughts and feelings about this, any sensations you have. Maybe you see a bee buzzing past, you can write about that or a sound that you hear. And if you get lost for words, you can even just draw a picture and then write about that. At this stage, all you're trying to do is gather momentum. So at first it's gonna feel like you're pushing this huge stone up a hill, but at some point you're gonna reach a plateau and that stone's gonna to have to roll down the other side. And it will get easier, I promise. You may write a hundred terrible, terrible things, but I promise you, eventually if you repeat this process, you will write something that you like. Stone two, the I will be rejected stone. So send me your work and I promise I will not reject you or post your work in the community. And I promise we will not reject you. And if somebody does, we will mess them up with words, not with violence, obviously. Stone three, the I can't finish it stone. Well, don't finish it. Just post it, give it to somebody, let them look at it, give you some feedback. Or 
if you really want to cheat, which kind of is cheating, but kind of isn't depending on how you look at it, you could put your stuff into chat GBT and ask it to write the rest of it. And then you can edit it down to however you like it. Now, some people might say that is cheating, but there was a story about those farmers when they invented the tractor that didn't use a tractor and those farmers didn't do very well after that. Whereas the farmers that used a tractor did pretty well. Think about it, yeah. Basically, it could come down to an issue about perfectionism. You can't finish it because you want it to be perfect. And this is something that I used to suffer from, but as you can see from my videos, I don't really care anymore. And that is a very liberating thing. So even if you haven't finished it, just release it to somebody. Let someone give you some feedback about it. And maybe they'll give you an idea on how to develop it. Stone four. Thy will be judged. Well, what's the worst that can happen if someone judges you? Eh. Uh. Yes. Not good enough. Well, it ain't gonna leave me to no treasure, is it? Draw a map. Your writing has caused a very terrible stink in the kingdom. Yeah, okay, that's pretty bad. So maybe just give it to people that won't judge you. And then over time, hopefully you won't care what people think because it's about your happiness, your writing, sticks and stones and stones and swords and... And the final stone, number five. I suck at this stone. Just keep doing it. This will change, I promise. So if you know the story of King Arthur, you might have been thinking this. Um, so, um, so that's an incongru- There's an- Excuse me, King Arthur was special, uh, so there's an incongruity in your analogy because he was the rightful heir to the throne, so- Off with his head! <laughs> so this is where the story and I part ways, because I truly believe, and I've experienced, anybody can write. I remember a story of a girl that I had, she was very dyslexic, and we were writing monologues, theatre monologues, and she had a massive resistance to it. She'd been told by a teacher when she was very young that her writing was not very good, and then grades reinforced this kind of negative narrative that she had about herself and her writing skills to the point where she just didn't ever do it. And we were doing this collaborative writing exercise, which um, we did to try and help her, which I'm doing another video about. And eventually she started to get some stuff down and we were editing it together and helping her along. And then she produced this amazing thing, which is still one of the best things I've ever read in my life. So anybody can do that. It's just getting started. Now you can watch that video that I mentioned to get started. Just grab a piece of paper and a pen and get started that way with some of the tips I've done. Or if you're really struggling, you can email me and I'll help you get started, I promise. Let's get writing. And if you want a cheesier hero ending, just picture this. Then you stand before it. You know you want to try, but doubts begin to creep in your mind. Am I strong enough? Am I skilled enough? Am I brave enough? Am I worthy? So if you're still procrastinating, check out these videos that I made to help you with that and hit the subscribe and the ding -a ling to stay notified about some upcoming creative writing exercises, specific exercises that will help you get started and hone your craft. And I'll see you next time.